Hey, what's up guys, I'm Mo. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you how to check the capacity on your battery. So I need to build an e-bike battery and you've heard this before that you should not be using batteries of different capacities in the same battery together because you know that difference could really be harmful for your overall battery health in the future. So the devices that are out on the market right now are really expensive. This is, I found, is a really cheap and effective way to finding out what the capacity of your battery is. So I'm gonna show you a little thing that I that I put together. This is a laptop battery pack. It was a Dell. I opened it up. I have six batteries in here. I've charged each of them um, individually. So for example, this one. Yeah, 4.14, 4.14. This one says zero. Oh no, we're good. Four eleven. Three point six. Oh, this is the one that I already discharged. And 415. All right. So that's the first thing you need to do. Make sure they're charged before you discharge them, of course. This one I've already discharged, and it turned out that it actually has um, 1879 milliamp hours. I'm gonna use this case, this exact case, just because it's like it really fits the battery really well. You can literally pick these up from like the dollar store or any Home Depot. It's like it's really used to hold pipes together, but it's really thin and when you bend it, it stays in place. So what I did was I actually used um, the pliers and I, I put this in here, you see, just by force. So after I put it in here, I bend it and then I cut it and it stayed in place. So when you put the battery in, and let me prove it to you that it works. See, I'm gonna put it on the outside here and here and it reads the battery. So that way I can solder wires to the outside and this will be available for me to take batteries in and out. The good thing about this that is that it actually holds it in place pretty good because it was already a tight fit before but now with this thing, it's actually a really nice fit. This thing that I'm gonna show you right now, I literally got it for $5 from Amazon. You can pick it up for cheaper on eBay for about $2, but I did not wanna wait for it to come from China. I just ordered this using Prime. I'll drop the link for both the eBay version and the Amazon version in the description. So the plan is I wanna actually have the battery here and maybe position this somewhere this way or just like give myself some space right here. So apparently this thing doesn't actually take solder. I don't know um, what kind of metal it is, but it doesn't actually take solder. This metal here doesn't actually take solder. So if you're gonna be recreating this exact design, just keep that in mind. However, when I put the wire through the metal here and I twisted it, what I'm gonna try to do now is actually, I'm gonna try to solder the join where I made right here on both sides. Okay, so that works. We now just need to position this right here. So I actually don't have this screw size right now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just hot glue this to the bottom of the case.
All right, so what's pretty much happening is on the back side of this, it shows you which where you're supposed to put the positive, which is the second hole from up here. And we're supposed to put the negative, which is the third hole. And this resistor goes in the first and the last hole. So you plug the battery in and it's supposed to be fully charged when you plug it in and it takes a micro USB. All right, so when you power it on, it should look like this. So right now it's telling you that this battery is 4.15 volts. And if you wanna discharge it, you have to just click on this first button right here where it says minus. And this button will let you know whether you wanna discharge it to 3.1 or 2.9, 2.7. I recommend that you don't go below 3.0, okay? Because most of the things that you're gonna power anyways are gonna cut the battery off at 3.0. So just discharge it till 3.0. After you've determined what number you wanna go at, you just click OK. It'll do that twice and it'll just go through the battery. It'll just continue to discharge the battery. The last one I did actually took about four or five hours just for one battery. So now if you have a lot of batteries to do, just keep that in mind. That is gonna take you some time. You'll know that it's done when it starts blinking. Obviously, it'll you'll, you'll see the voltage go down and down until it hits 3.0. And then once it does, the amp hour is gonna continue to blink. It's not gonna be going like this, it'll just be blinking. Uh, I'll show you in a little bit. I know it doesn't look fantastic. It's not something that you would wanna buy in a store, but of course, we're not selling this. Like, I mean, this is DIY project. We're gonna make this so we can sell it to somebody, you know, on uh, on Kickstarter or whatever. This is made so that you can have a nice, cheap way, you know, get the capacity of your battery instead of going out and spending at least a hundred dollars on a machine that can do this practically the same thing. And once you find out the capacity of this battery, you just take it out, you charge it, and you pop the next one in there. It's that simple. All right, guys, that's it. Um, I'm Mo. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, peace.